Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at QQQ, SPY in the indices and then NVIDIA, Tesla, AMD, Apple and Microsoft. So let's take a look at the price action today in the market and what is the market telling us? Now it's very important for us to understand how QQQ and SPY are behaving because these are the derivatives of across the big cap stocks that part of it which we'll be covering today but then also they pretty much define the sentiment of the market and these all the stocks. So it's very important to start off with that. Now, I'm going to go over real quick on the trend that is showing up on the interval settings that I have put on my indicator, which is 5, 15, 30, and 60, and 4 hours. So we are across the board bearish on QQQ. We are looking at the daily chart of QQQ. Now, something we have been talking that on the higher time frame, we are still bearish right and the board is also even telling that the trend board the dashboard now this levels that you are seeing are also marked by my indicator now we are still below this 20 days moving average and we have been constantly forming lower highs and lower lows so if i can show you that you can see that we are going into a next new leg of a lower low so this was one up wave second wave down wave and so there's possibility of well we as i have been saying that we're in the downtrend any bounce will be shorted and you know um this is pretty much what we have been talking about that um this is where you know overhead resistance was right and it has rejected at one of the levels that we even talked about yesterday which my indicator marks automatically 363 and 41 cents if you are interested in having this indicator together with my other bots you please join the trading boss membership and you will have access to all of it and any new features that i'm building and developing now um going to the hourly interval on qqq let's cover a few things there now so what we have is we look at it pretty much what we were talking about is if we break the level of and this is what we talked about the level of 50 hours moving average we will plummet we flushed right and also we found overhead resistance at 200 hours moving average it rejected that and it just fell, fell right so but guys there is nothing really scientific about it you know we have been going down and it just looks that tomorrow if it continues to break if it doesn't again like this is the low right if it doesn't find support at the recent law of 351 it's going to come down to the next level the problem though we have on hand it this is problem for the bulls not for the not for the bears but the problem is that once we break this level of 351 and 41 cents which was the previous support then we have a bigger problem in hand because that just confirms another set on the hourly interval that a flush will can come to sure the next support of 348 but that opens up the door to 339 which is quite a dramatic you know uh fall right so that's not good on the qqq now let's take a look at spy so let me just first go back to the daily interval and let's talk about spy and I can just do it one of the fanciest way. Here we go. Here's the spy, guys. So across the board, you can see we are bearish. And this is, guys, what we were talking about. Again, like, I'm not trying to hear brag about what we were talking about, how things are panning out. But I said that 200 days moving average will be tested. We rejected the overhead resistance level of 432. And my indicator already marks these levels automatically. And you see that how well they always act right so we came down to the 200 days moving average test down there right and across the board on spy guys we are bearish like if i take you even on the little bit if i zoom out you can see now this is where we have a problem on hand with spy again guys see look at it right we are forming lower highs lower lows and i have been calling this out that spy is not going to have any upside right um so this is for the months to come guys um in my opinion now you will again like guys if this breaks now 200 days moving average 
spot, this is a huge problem. Like, this is where the last hope for the bulls is. Otherwise, uh, yeah, $413.11 is easily within reach. Now, let's take a look at hourly interval on, on SPY. We are full on bearish here, guys. Uh, I don't even have to look at my indicator. I mean, we have even formed a new low. This is very bad for SPY. Um, look at it. Not even trying to catch up to 200 days moving average. Sorry, 200 hours moving average. So guys, there's nothing much to say on it. It's just period, we are bearish, you know. Um, it, if it just looks so weak to just keep falling, there is no sign of bullishness on it. It's just in the downtrend, okay? Just remember that. All right, guys, let's take a look at Apple now. And let's start off with the daily level. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know I can do that as well from here. Okay, so Apple seems to be performing a little better compared to the other, you know, uh, broader market sentiment. However, doesn't really change anything on it. Why? Because we, this is still a lower high and we are overhead resist resistance of 20 days moving average. It can still come down to $168.30 where if this support doesn't act, it's going to break. And that's a big problem again on Apple as well. Now, it's looking very indecisive on the uh, daily interval. And if the broader market is not going to support it, Apple alone cannot go up because Apple defines also most of it what the other market is doing. Today, the sell-off was huge on definitely other stocks as well that really discounted or um, counted out Apple's move, right? Now, if I go to the hourly interval here with Apple, now the thing is that, that we need to be watching is uh, we have this overhead resistance of 200 hours moving average, right? But Apple is looking so weak that there's more downside to come on it. Um, if it breaks the level of 171 and 50 cents, expect more downside. I don't think this level will hold then. $170 range, I think it's gonna come down easily, $169, where also the 200 days moving averages as well. This is the last defense for the bulls. You can expect some choppiness here, which is already happening here. This the fight is already going between bulls and the bears here, but bears are really taking over, all right? So just keep that in mind, guys, okay? Let's take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft, uh, again, like just forming a lower high and then rejecting overhead resistance of 20, Oops, and 50 days moving average, right? So, okay, there's nothing, again, nothing bullish about Microsoft. If this level breaks, which is the level of $310, it will come down to 200 days moving average. Pretty much that's what your game is. Microsoft is so heavily weighted on SPY and QQQ, you can see this massive move that Microsoft showed us today led to the fall of the indices as well. Not alone, there are other stocks that led to it as well. We'll, you know, some of it we are talking about it. Now, yeah, like this is the last, if it wanna go up, it, this is where it has to hold $311, but likelihood of that happening is just not there. Not saying it's just gonna crash tomorrow, but it is gonna, and I don't think any bounce will come that will be strong enough. It's gonna, if price action doesn't consolidate here again at 311, expect more downside. And as I said, that 200 days moving average will come in play on Microsoft as well. All right, guys, let's now take a look at, um, let's take a look at now Tesla, and then we will, let's take a look at Nvidia first. We'll wrap it up with Tesla. Let me actually, yeah. All right, guys, so, Remember, um, I was talking about that there's a possibility on NVIDIA that a huge red volume can come now because it was making these feeble rebounds. My hunch was still to the downside. You know, it didn't break 50 days moving average, right? Um, today we got that I traded NVIDIA short today. Uh, it was really tough to trade on phone. I like to see all the data on my screens, but my laptop is out getting serviced right now. So um, now, the downside level on NVIDIA I'm watching is, uh, at least for the intraday trade, 419 again. Again, like I'm not bullish on NVIDIA. Um, it hasn't confirmed any higher low. So 
um yeah guys that's the problem right they push up these stock prices with news and like conviction to buy and right all that stuff they come up with they make retailers buy at the top while they're selling all these stuff is guys to get the liquidity in the market so that analysts can still sell you at the higher price while you keep buying not you but like normal average people and analysts can profit off of it right they want liquidity in the market nvidia all in all oops yeah here we go nvidia is guys oh sorry what am I doing? Here we go. NVIDIA is technically still very bearish, guys. This is still a lower high. Like, it's in the massive downtrend. I don't expect NVIDIA to go upside. It's going to stay choppy, liquidity grabs, and all of that stuff so that big players can sell off at higher prices, right? But then it's going to start plummeting. Today, you can already see this massive red volume that came, right? So... not really in the benefit right so let's take a look at the hourly interval here now you can see even in the post market that it's just not behaving as we would expect So what we have here is massive rejection at the level of 449 and this is not good, right? Um, you can see it came down to the next support level of 433. Now it's looking so weak that I don't expect this to hold. Um, there is more likelihood of Uh, sorry guys, I uh, just had to check something. Uh, there's more likelihood of it keep falling. Um, I don't expect this to make any strong bounces here. Now, what you need to be watching is... Okay, here's the thing. Keeps breaking $434 level. It'll come down to here. 424 is the next place to watch and then below that is the 420 all right so this is this now let's take a look at here we go sorry now let's take oh. Let's take a look at Tesla. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to make it work. Here we go. No. Oh, my God. Here we go. Sorry, my apologies. It's so tough to do it on phone. Um, yeah, so we are very, in a standard fashion, rejecting overhead resistance of 200 hours moving average and we don't really have any sign of upside now we'll take a look at daily interval in a second but let's talk about the hourly interval um again like yeah so this is what i was calling out as well today the downside play now we break the level of 245 if we do that the next level in range is 242 and there's a possibility likelihood in this week Tesla will come down to 238. There is no bullish sign on it unless it breaks above 20 and 50 hours moving average again. Now, that would be only for intraday play though, guys. But right now, it's still looking to the downside play. Now, if I go to the daily level, what are we seeing here is... Um, yeah, we are still in the downtrend there's an overhead resistance of 20 and 50 days moving average that is acting um the problem is that once we break 241 there's okay this if this doesn't get absorbed in 230 dollars range to 240 this is going to have a fall down to and uh, to 200 days moving average let me show you that not just right away, but first it will come down to the level of 
217 and then down to 200 days moving average all right guys this is all for this I'll... yeah all right and i'll see you in the next video have an awesome day all right take care bye